Hello, and welcome to the IDEX Rapid Visual Pregnancy Test Protocol Training Video. The IDEX Rapid Visual Pregnancy Test is an enzyme-linked immunoassay for the detection of pregnancy-associated glycoproteins in bovine EDTA whole blood, EDTA plasma, or serum samples. In this training video, you will learn to prepare the reagents, run the assay, and interpret the results. The IDEX Rapid Visual Pregnancy Test Kit includes two anti-PAG antibody-coated plate, one positive control, one negative control, reagent one, detector solution, reagent two, conjugate, reagent three, TMB substrate, reagent four, stop solution. Other kit components include a Ziploc bag to place the remaining strips, store strips using the desiccant provided in the foil pouch, 200 disposable pipette tips, and four dropper caps for the reagent bottles. Additional material needed to run the kit include a precision pipette capable of dispensing 100 microliters, a microplate cover, and a wash bottle. These are available from IDEX in the Rapid Visual Pregnancy Accessory Pack. You will also need distilled or deionized water and absorbent material for wash steps. Before use, replace the bottle caps used during shipment with a dropper cap. Reagent bottles should be stored with the dropper caps on in the upright position to avoid mixing reagents. Because of the rapid protocol, IDEX recommends users run no more than four strips per testing run. Use a timer for all incubation steps. For optimum results, this assay should be performed at a temperature between 64 and 79 degrees Fahrenheit. Allow all reagents to come to 64 to 79 degrees Fahrenheit before use. Mix reagents by gently inverting or swirling. For your convenience, IDEX has designed the internal packaging, which holds the kit components in place, to be used as a workstation. To start, open the foil pouch containing the plate and remove only those strips needed for the number of samples to be tested. Place the remaining strips, along with the desiccant, in the extra Ziploc bag provided and return to 35 to 46 degrees Fahrenheit. On the worksheet, record the positions of the negative control, positive control, and samples. IDEX recommends placing strips in a numerical order. The order doesn't have to be exact. Doing this and orienting the strips correctly with tabs up will prevent an issue if strips happen to fall out from squeezing too hard. Using the precision pipette, dispense 100 microliters of the negative control into the negative control well. Dispense 100 microliters of positive control into the positive control well. Dispense 100 microliters of each sample into the appropriate wells. Make sure to always use a new pipette tip for controls and each sample. Dispense three drops of reagent one into each well. Cover the wells with the plate cover and gently tap the plate 10 times to mix. Start the timer and incubate plate for seven minutes at 64 to 79 degrees Fahrenheit. After the seven minutes of incubation, remove the plate cover and invert the plate above a liquid waste receptacle and flick the plate downward with force to discard the liquid from the wells. Make sure that most of the liquid is removed from the wells. Wash the plate by filling each well completely with distilled or deionized water. Make sure that the stream of water overflows the wells. Invert the plate and discard the water with force. Repeat two times for a total of three washes. Firmly tap residual water from each well onto absorbent material. Dispense three drops of reagent two into each well. Cover the wells with the plate cover and gently tap the plate 10 times to mix. Start the timer and incubate plate for seven minutes at 64 to 79 degrees Fahrenheit. After the seven minutes of incubation, repeat the wash step performed earlier that was a total of three washes. Dispense three drops of reagent three into each well. Cover the wells with the plate cover and gently tap the plate 10 times to mix. Start the timer and incubate plate for seven minutes at 64 to 79 degrees Fahrenheit. After the seven minutes of incubation, do not wash the plate. Remove cover and dispense three drops of reagent four into each well. Gently tap the plate 10 times to mix. Place the plate on a white surface. 
Take a visual reading. Note, in order to have a valid test, the positive control well must turn blue in color. If the positive control well does not turn blue, all results for the assay are invalid. Repeat the test following a thorough review of the insert. Blue color development in the negative control well indicates insufficient washing. The pregnancy status of each animal is determined by comparing the color development of the sample well to the negative control well. If the color development of the sample well is less than or the same as that of the negative control well, the animal is considered not pregnant. If color development of the sample well is greater than the negative control well, then PAGs are present and the animal is considered pregnant. Sample wells that are difficult to interpret visually should be considered doubtful and pregnancy recheck is recommended. This concludes your training of the IDEX Rapid Visual Pregnancy Test. Please contact your sales or technical support representative if you have any questions.